Today, I'm going to show you my favorite security plugin for WordPress. It's called WordFence, and they have a fantastic free version, which is what I use for all my sites. Now, if you don't use a security plugin for your WordPress site, do it, please. Even if it's not this one, use another one. So let's go check out WordFence right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? Like I said, we're going to check out this free security plugin for WordPress. Now, like I said, if you are not using something like this, then use another one, but do use a security plugin. WordPress is one of the most hacked sites in the world because obviously it's the most famous CMS. So the probabilities of someone hacking your site are really high. So do install a security plugin. Now, before we jump into WordPress, I want to show you my sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. I want to show you their great plans that they have, which is what I use on my sites. So for example, if you jump over to the link in the description, jump into hosting, I'm going to show you the web hosting because you're going to get an extra discount with the coupon code that I have. Jump over to the pricing plans, check the plans that they have, see what is the right fit for your needs and select the one you want. In this case, I'll select the business plan. I'll add it to cart. And right here, we are going to get greeted with the amount of months that we want to lock in. Obviously, if you select the most months, you're going to get the lowest price and you're going to be good for this amount of months. Plus, the renewal price is also cheaper. Now, check these prices. It's $191.52. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, we're going to apply it and we're going to get an additional discount, which is $172.37 now. So take advantage of it. Let's jump over to our WordFence plugin. Now, I've already installed the plugin. Like I said, this is the free version, and this is what I use for all my sites. Even if I am using my Cloudflare security, I still use WordPress or a plugin that's for security because it's like the second layer of security. Now, several tools comes into this WordPress system, which one is the firewall and the other one is the scanner. Plus, it also reduces the brute force attacks and all of that, which I'll show you on this video. Now, first of all, you're going to be greeted with the dashboard, knowing what's going on. For example, in the last 24 hours, these are the total attacks blocked. So like I said, even me who has a Cloudflare security going on, I still get a bunch of attacks. So the more popular your site is, the more attacks it's going to have. Okay. And the summary for this firewall is today, two complex ones, week 365, month 1,180 complex blocks. Okay. So here's the total for these. No brute force in my case. But like I said, I also have an additional security system on Cloudflare. OK, now we're going to jump over with the firewall. So in the firewall, do go ahead and activate it once you get started and you're going to get access to the managed WAF. Now, be aware that there are some limitations in the free version. But like I said, this is better than nothing. So don't skip it. You're going to have, for example, rate limiting. You won't have some options to tweak it, but you'll get the options to have it. OK, blocking help firewall options. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, here we go. Here's the firewall options. We have web application firewall status. In this case, I have it enabled by default. It's disabled, so do enable it. You got your advanced firewall options so you can delay IP and country blo country blocking until after WordPress plugins have loaded. So that means that if you want to block countries or IPs, you can do so by adding them here. OK, allow list services. So these are services that are going to be checking up your site. For example, if Facebook wants to check out your site, you're going to allow it. So take this on or immediately block IPs that access these URLs. So again, these are rules that you can add. So just like I do on Cloudflare, you can also do it here. So that means if you want to block some particular sites, links of your site that people shouldn't be accessing, go ahead and add them here. Ignore IP addresses from WordPress web application firewall alerting. So again, you can add your IPs here. The rules that you want to enable, you got all these rules available here. Like I said, it's super easy to use. Just enable these because basically if you are not into really customizing development on your own, you want to have all this on. OK, brute force protection. This is a must. You don't want to have someone attacking your site. For example, if they try to hack your site 1000 times in one second, well, that's not going to happen because you have your brute force protection enabled. OK, and you have all these options that you can go through. Rate limiting again, this also helps prevent from people trying to hack your site one time and another. For example, before it was really common that you can hack a password by trying multiple passwords in like, I don't know, 100, 1000 times in a minute. And obviously you would get to a point where you actually hack the site. 
In this case, you don't allow it with the brute force attack and the rate limiting and allow list URLs, URLs that you want to allow. Okay, so that's for the firewall. There's also a scan option for this. This has worked wonders for me. I've had had, for example, viruses and malware on my site, and this has gotten the job done. So again, I'm in the free version. There's some things that you need to update if you want to get the full version. For, ex for example, spam vertizing checks, spam checks, block list checks. You'll need to have the paid version. But if you want to check your server state file changes, malware scan, content safety, public files, password strength, etc., you will have access to that. Okay. And you'll have option to clean these files once the scan is done. Something fell there, but we're not going to go into that right now. There's also some tools included here. Mm, nothing fancy when it comes to who is lookup, import, export, and diagnostic, unless you need that. But for example, here's the live traffic, which is interesting. For example, this is me, which is everything is fine. I got that little green check mark there because I'm good to go. But check these guys out. These guys from I don't know where, say Shelly's, I don't know where that is. They're trying to reach these pages. Check this out. They have no business going into these pages and where friends obviously block this person. Okay. But again, I can go into this and I can go a block IP because right now it's blocked by firewall by no malicious user agents. Okay. But if you really want to block it, you can block the IP from here. Run who is on this person, see recent traffic, add param to firewall allow list. That's if you want to allow them, but no, you don't want to allow these hackers in. But you can see here, these are the links that they are trying to reach. They should not be going to these pages. So they're automatically blocked thanks to WordFence, okay? Login security, if you want to have this, for example, two auth identification, um, I'll blur that out because you, sh you shouldn't be seeing that and all the options. So there's some options here. You might want to turn off or on some of these. For example, email alerts. You might not want to get alerted every single time. In my case, I want to get emailed if WordFence is deactivated. And for what else they have it, I have them all off. But you can turn these on if you want to be notified for these things, okay? There's also firewall options, which we checked already. You can view them here in the settings and other settings like live traffic options, import export, and the login security. So you're going to get all of that in the free version. So I'm going to say this again, please don't have a WordPress site that doesn't have a security plugin and do have this one updated. Now, in my case, I have all the plugins to be updated manually. So I go to manually update these except for the security plugin. My security plugin is automatically updated. That's the only one that have automatic update. So do consider that when doing this in case you want to do it also. But there you go. That is WordFence. That's the security plugin I use for all my sites on the free version. So like I said, it's more than enough. Plus, I also use my Cloudflare security options. But there you go. That's a wrap for my favorite security plugin on WordPress. See you later.